Welcome, 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 and welcome to the Myrita Minutes. This is Myrita. Yesterday, I had posted a video regarding Tamar and Jesse Wu, and it was prior to Tamar coming out and giving her response. And of course, there's always three sides to a story, right? Her side, her side, and then there's the truth. Tamar explained her version. She gave us a little bit more background. And where I kind of second guess whether or not the text messages were truly from Tamar. She owned it. They were from her. I also said she must have been drinking. Because that seemed like a little extreme to be trying to unalive somebody. (laughs) So I felt that was a little bit extreme. So she had to be, yeah, drinking or something. So she admitted that she had been drinking and she had been drinking a lot. Thirdly, I said something about the timing. The timing was off. Because it didn't make sense why this stuff was coming out now. January 2024, when this happened back in November. So it's like, why did you choose to come out with this now? And based on what I've heard, I guess it's some miscommunication there. Something happened where Jesse Wu must have said something about Jr. Tamar didn't like it. And I guess she unfollowed Jesse Wu. And instead of talking about it, I assume that they just let things go the way they did. She says she hasn't been to work for the whole month of December or something like that. Or the last time she was at work was in December. So she hasn't seen Tamar said the last time Jesse was at work was in December. So she hasn't seen her. So <clears throat> if there's no communication going on and you see that someone has unfollowed you and you're kind of like, okay, well, what happened? The only thing you can think of was the last thing that had transpired between the two of you. Then you're only going by speculation as to why she might be upset. But anyway, communication is key. But it doesn't make sense for it just doesn't make sense for this to keep going on. I I noticed that both of the ladies have taken down their videos. Other people have captured them, so we still are able to see them and view them. But I hope they get this squared away and squashed. Um It seems like in December, based on the footage that I saw, Jesse Wu still recognized Tamar as a friend. And she said she was has been nothing but nice to her. This was after the text messages in November. Tamar brought the receipts. So again, I don't know what transpired after that. Only thing I can think of is something happened. It was speculation on both parts. Nobody came together and talked about it. And this is what we got. So, yeah. (laughs) Craziness, craziness, like I said. Um, I kind of figured something wasn't right. But, like I said, Tamar owned it. That was her text messages. She said all that stuff. She, I guess she meant it at the time she was saying it. But again, when you are under the influence of a substance, in her case, alcohol, it alters your personality a bit and you might get a little carried away. And if you're an extra type person, that doesn't do anything but enhance it. So there's that. Not justifying it, but. That's what we got. Anyway, I just wanted to come out. I figured she would come out eventually. I didn't think it would be 
as soon as last night, but I'm glad she did. She tried to clear up a little bit. I hope that's the end of it. Both these beautiful ladies need to just get on their grind and do what they do well. I'm throwing another sale. Free likes, free shares, free subscription. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Peace.